The appointment of a managing director for the Keta port set into motion widespread controversy about the project itself and its viability even before construction. But answering questions in Parliament, Minister for Transport, Kweko for Isiyama, indicated that feasibility studies on the project will begin next month. A suitable site at Keji within the Keta municipality has been identified to locate the port of Keta. This site will make a good developmental and commercial use of a pre-engineered system of port of part of the of Kita Lagoon. His Excellency the President has issued the, the executive instrument to declare the area a port zone. A director has been appointed by His Excellency to coordinate all activities of the Kita port development. Expression of interest was advertised out of the 19 companies that, that put in the bid, 17 had been shortlisted to do a technical and financial proposal for the port. Technical evaluation and financial technical and financial evaluation, evaluation was completed yesterday. Mr. Speaker. It is expected that consulting services for the feasibility studies will start in April 2020. The Gender Minister Cynthia Morrison was also in the House to answer questions on a quota system for Queen Mothers as part of the National School Feeding Program. She said there is no policy like that. Specific allocations were not made to Queen Mothers. Below is the list of schools in Bali districts that benefited from the expansion of school feeding. By the MP for Bole Bamboa, Yusuf Suleimana believes the minister was not candid with the House. I'm not satisfied, and I believe that even those who were there, uh, if they were in my shoes, uh, I'm not sure they would have been satisfied, because uh, clearly she digressed. She moved off from the question I asked. My question was that how many or which queen mothers in the Bole district benefited from the 30% protocol allocation to caterers, okay? And this question came up because the Minister of uh, Gender in 2017 was on the floor of Parliament to answer questions that I had put to her. The House marked International Women's Day with a statement from the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protections and Contributions from MPs. Currently, women are still the least employed people in our country. And I believe that it all stems out of our training. We know that culturally, people didn't want to even accept the, the, the uh, education of, of women or the development of women. And it is important that at this point in our lifetime, we are celebrating when today. We have great women in this country. We have our former first lady, Lodina Mahama, who gave some of us chance to be where we are today. And I wish her a very happy Women's Day today. And Mr. Speaker, I want to wish my honorable uh, leader, honorable Adwa Safo to International Women's Day because she is the first female who has become the deputy majority leader. And I hope we continue to give women chance to be where we are or where we are supposed to be. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mensopoku.